Hi everyone, today I'm going to talk about the film Tokyo Profile, which was produced in Japan in 1953. In this film we can see Michiko, who was a five-year-old girl who was walking with her mother in the commercial district of Ginza and suddenly her mother lost her. She, Michiko got out of sight of her mother and found herself all alone in the street. The first person who approached the girl was a shoe shiner woman and she talked to Michiko and she tried to ask her about her parents, where she lived, but Michiko was still a small kid so she didn't know exactly where she lived but she could give at least the name of her mother and her father. Then she met the, the woman, the shoe shining woman, met a guy that was her acquaintance and he earned a living holding placards, signposts around the streets of Ginza. So he knew lots of people in the city of Tokyo because he worked on the streets and he was in the habit of taking care of kids who got lost from her parents. So he started to take care of Michiko. After a while, Michiko realized it because she was a very clever girl and she realized that uh, there was no use to be sad and she tried to distract her mind and kind of having fun. So the guy who, who holds the placards, the sign holder, man, he started to walk silly on the street and then Michiko tried to imitate him. She asked him for candies, he gave her some candies and Michiko was very lucky because she got to find people who were kind with her and she wasn't hurt. Of course, that we modern day audiences, we feel very uneasy and disturbed to see a small kid all alone in a very big city, but she was fine, thanks, nobody was evil with the, with the kid. And then the sign man, the placard man, he took Michiko to a restaurant because she wanted to go to the toilet and then he, they ate something but the guy started talking with some friends and he also lost Michiko. Michiko was out of sight again. She was entertained with a woman who was in the restaurant and when the woman left the restaurant uh, Michiko followed the woman. She was a little kid, she was curious about everything it was a big place full of things to see and of course she is a kid and then she followed the other woman the sign guy lost her and he got very disturbed then he got to find the shoe shining woman and then they both together tried to look for Michiko in the middle of Ginza which was already a big district Tokyo already was a very big city, very crowded and then they tried very hard but they eventually got to find Michiko and then they were reunited and of course that meanwhile, while Michiko was coming and going, her mother was desperate and then Unfortunately, because it was not a good thing, Michiko's mother met one of her female neighbors and it turned out that her neighbor was a horrible woman because she knew that uh, she had lost Michiko on the street so the mother was trying to find Michiko and the other woman selfishly t talked to the Michiko's mother, she disturbed her she wanted to go to a store and took Michiko's mother with her even though she was desperate trying to find her daughter and to add insult to injury the woman went to a restaurant with Michiko's mother 
she didn't want to go but the neighbor pushed her to go and then she ordered two creamy sodas they drank that Michiko's mother didn't want to go to the restaurant she didn't want to drink anything but then the neighbor went away without notice she left the restaurant and Michiko's mother was left all alone with the bill for the sodas, which she didn't request and didn't want to have and couldn't even afford. So her neighbor was a selfish and terrible woman. And of course, it disturbed Michiko's mother in her search. All right. And while Michiko was walking down the city, it, it, time passed. And then it was already night. So after spending many hours with Michiko, trying to find her mother and no success, the shoe shining woman and the sign holder man, they took Michiko to the police station because then the police would try to find her mother and so on. However, we realized that Michiko's mother was already there, but not to look for Michiko. Michiko's mother had stolen some shoes from a store. Then we realized that Michiko's family was very poor. Her father used to be in the army during World War II. He got to find a job as an accountant, but the salary wasn't enough for the family to live on. And then, in the beginning of the film, Michiko said to the shoe shining woman that she was in Ginza with her mother because she wanted to buy a pair of red shoes and a hat. And that was true. Her mother went there to buy those things for Michiko. But when they arrived in Ginza, Michiko's mother realized that she couldn't afford those things and that her money wasn't enough. And then she said she was very sorry because all other kids had the shoes and everything and the family couldn't afford giving to Michiko stuff that her friends had. And it broke her heart and then she thought that Michiko would be very happy to have her hat and her shoes. And she, out of desperation, she decided to steal. Unfortunately, she was arrested, but it ended up being a bless in disguise. Because in the middle of all this mess with Michiko's mother, the other people arrived with Michiko in the police station and then she was finally reunited with her mother which was a touching and beautiful end. As I said in the beginning this film is not very known but it's very nice as the witness of an era because lots of uh, corners of Ginza are shown so we can have an idea of how Tokyo looked like in the early 50s and we can see the stores we can see people on the street their clothes and this film even reminds me in style of the french novelle vague in the sense of having a documentary touch in it it also reminds me of neorealistic film neorealist films from italy which were made also after World War II in the sense of showing the life of working citizens and poor people. And this film has a very optimistic touch. So I really think you, you will like it. It's very sweet. It's optimistic. And that's all for now, folks. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you.